So I just want you guys to know that <clears throat> my passion is like so real, bro. It's real. Like just from like all the detailed notes, like this is what I do. This is what I do, bro. Like I'm not even bullshitting. This is what I do. So of any of you guys who don't know me as a person, like this is who I am. This is literally me <clears throat> as a person. I don't want all you guys to know that, like, I am serious. I am, like, as serious as a freaking heartbeat about my future. This is just years and years of analytical observation notes, data, and things of that nature. Like, like, it's for real. This is what I do. This is <laughs> this is what I do. So I just I just want y'all to know that. I just want you. I'm just showing you. Just showing you like it's real. It's real. It's hella real. And this is the new brain by Richard Ristake. This is a very interesting book. This is like next level shit right here. This is pretty much a way to calculate the statistics of psychological uh, and analytical evidence. Um, and pretty much a way to find the variables in which can be described in a prescriptive um, in a prescriptive formula for population and this one is right here this one is pretty much like the gross anatomy it's kind of like an index um, it pretty much gives me all my notes on things that like if I need help like trying to understand certain parts of the brain that's pretty much like a dictionary for me and then this bad boy over here this is one of my favorites. Um, it pretty much talks about clinical depression, manic depressive illness, talks about uh, personality disorder, talks about bipolarism and all the greatest leaders who had them, who made a difference. But just some of the things that we just never seen or saw beneath their, beneath their skin. So it kind of gives you a very in-depth look look at the personality traits that they encountered and um, you know how it correlates to some of the things that we encounter <clears throat> and then over here we have um, this is one of my favorites this is kind of old this has a bunch of just kind of like a bunch of notes about different topics from politics to philosophy, theology, spirituality, um, psychology, mathematics, statistics. I mean, this part is talking about the marshmallow theory and all sorts of other things that are commonly um, commonly known in, um, in neuroscience right now. There's just a bunch of things to look at. It's really cool and interesting. Um, and then this bad boy, oh, before I get to that, <clears throat> well, no. So this right here is pretty much kind of like a reminder of um, how to quantify small possibility factors and the variables therein. So this is basically, um, this is pretty much the quantum possibility of a coin toss. 
um, there's just one single coin toss and trying to predict how many what's the likelihood that I'll land heads if I toss the quarter up four to four times what's the likelihood and the, the answer was basically less than one percent so the likelihood would be very very unlikely basically and so <clears throat> it's pretty much like computing logic and also there's a back to it <clears throat> this is pretty much like um this is what you call finding the um finding what is it called uh d diametrically opposite resolution to a one-way logical factor so pretty much trying to prove that one thing can be the same on the other side you know just using common sense and so that's that and then this bad boy is one of my favorites this pretty much talks about um codependence and it really really dives really deep into um some of the symptoms of um cluster a and cluster b um disorders um sort of based on the dsm and um the dsm four and five and then also other um clinical clinical clinically psychological um antidotes and notes and observation notes on family relations and just different indexes as you can see these are uh i don't know if it'll zoom in 